if you're doing a story like Angels and Demons, you're sort of expecting to stir a little controversy. Part of the fun of these stories is that they provoke some thought and conversation in addition to, to being uh, you know, full-on entertainments. Uh, you know, my, my feeling really about it is that I, I don't think anyone who's been commenting has actually seen the movie. And, and yes, there's a novel, but this is the, this is the movie version of it. And uh, I, you know, I'm not sure how they're going to respond, but I, you know, I don't, I, I, don't, I, never, I did, certainly didn't intend it as an attack on the Catholic Church at all. I don't think it is, but people will have to see. You know, they're going to have to see for themselves. Angels and Demons is literally a ticking bomb story, and, it, and on a thematic level, um, it, it, it's about a, a very contemporary, modern kind of clash, um, science versus religion, and the most cutting edge kind of science. Uh, and it's, you know, and it's, it's possible threat to, to our contemporary life. There are echoes from the past, but this film takes, doesn't take place in the past, whereas Da Vinci Code had one foot in antiquity and, 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 and the other in the modern world. As a result, Angels and Demons just is, goes clue to clue, murder to murder, and uh, you know, and it's just by its nature much more intense, it therefore has to move faster, and, uh, and, and, and Langdon is in a lot more personal, direct jeopardy in this, in this story. So it was a very different tone and feel, and, and uh, I really enjoyed making it. It was a good, a good uh, challenge for me. Everybody loves a good conspiracy theory, as Dan Brown likes to say. And what Dan does brilliantly is he doesn't invent this stuff, you know, he, he researches it. You know, sort of known, uh, accepted historical fact, uh, fringe thinking that even historians may have offered up at some point or another. Conspiracy theories, old and new. I'm one of those people that fundamentally suspects that there's a hell of a lot we don't know about how things work around us. Um, and uh, so um, I, I, it wouldn't surprise me to discover that there's an organization that either calls themselves the Illuminati or influenced by the Illuminati. Uh, but uh, but I, I, I certainly, you know, I, I don't have any research that confirms it. Dan Brown, great guy, we've become really good friends. Man, does he play his cards close to the vest. I honestly don't know anything more about this project at this point than, other than anyone who's been on the internet knows. Uh, the, the, um, uh, all that said, I've had two fantastic life experiences and, and, and really challenging, interesting, creative experiences making Da Vinci Code and Angels and Demons, and I really love what Tom Hanks is doing with the movie version of Robert Langdon. These things are, are enticing to me. So, uh, you know, I can't confirm a thing, but I'm certainly you know, open and dying to read it, you know, along with the rest of the world.